Hello, my name is Roland Jung from ePlan Canada. I want you to um, discover a little bit the new ePlan platform 2022. So here what I'm going to do, and you can see here on our website, if you discover a little bit more, you will find out a little bit about, you know, the looks and feels. Now today I want to focus a little bit on the new look, new look, which is actually the white look, not the black look. We have a dark side, we have a... Um, uh, clear side, let's call it like that, like a clear gray or light gray, whatever you may call it, right? So you can switch between the black, dark uh, colors for the menus and the whiter colors or gray, more lighter colors. So I love it. I love it. So before I even start, what I want to do is check out the eView. So I have here two uh, projects, one, uh, one project actually in particular. And in this particular project, I can see that some people have set some red linings. So what they did in eView, we can see here, we have one of the first red linings, which was basically referring to transferring this motor, and we can see the details here, who did it. We want this motor to be transferred on the previous page, which is page eight. Let's take a look. If we go here inside our schematics, our motors, and we check out page eight, this is where they want to move it. There's enough room. We can eliminate page nine. Let's do it. Anything else? Probably not. This is already done. So we changed the sizing of this element. And uh, we wanted to remove <coughs> or had a question, actually, if we look it up here, we had a question about these two being on the same output. But uh, technically, the redlining was removed because um, this is actually done on purpose. So this is actually fine. So therefore we removed it. But this redlining feature we have here, eView, is really cool. Really cool. It's part of the eView. eView also has a couple of other free things. It's a free cloud that is out there that uh, ePlan customers can um, use and use with anyone else that doesn't have ePlan. So this eView free, this is the one I was just looking at. You can invite anyone to come and join and see one of those projects. So if I want to add one person to come and view here, I can just go about and say, okay, I'd like to add uh, Adam at ePlan Canada within my team to just you know invite him to the organization and boom, the email will be sent <clears throat> and he can then come and see actually this project. So I'm going to switch over to ePlan. Here is ePlan. I'm going to open the ePulse and more specifically the ePulse eView. <coughs> Sorry. Inside the eView we have here, we have exactly the same project, the same version. This is also interesting because you can actually see that we uploaded this is version number two. And the red linings are exactly the same. And when you click on them, they actually show you the page where the redlining was done, but inside ePlan. So you don't even have to run around and figure out, okay, where's page eight, where's page nine, whatever. So now I can go and put this on the side, just use the fly out feature. So it's gonna be on the side here. I can always go back if I need to. And here I'm gonna go and take this one here. Um, my idea is to select these items, uh, use a typical edit, cut feature right that exists and once you have the edit cut you just eliminate it from that side here just go over on that side and you paste it back in here so of course while i'm pasting this here i will be very careful about picking of course the same uh value set that i did because we just wanted to move the motor but not change the motor <coughs> plus i'm not going to change anything because this project is already under construction and I have to be careful about the device tags. So there we go, we do it. Now we can do something else. We can actually think about this box here. Uh, this might be the same box as up here. So we could stretch the upper box uh, technically, or we can also reduce uh, this box here. Both options actually do give me the same thing. Of course, this is visually a little bit tricky because if you show two different structure boxes, you might have the impression that this box here is actually a different box. So I might as well just delete it and 
and stretch this one down here, which is basically relocating the motor inside the location I just specified at the top. <clears throat> this being done, I can now go back into my eView and I could actually take this status here from review to, well, approved, of course, because yes, okay, I can do it. Um, so, which I did it, okay, because typically you have someone that approves it. I can approve it myself. So, in this particular case, I just approve this case here. Um, now, to finish it up, uh, I would actually have to delete, as they asked here, the complete page because I don't need that page anymore. So, I'll just delete the page, which is fine. Now that the page is deleted, that's also fine. I should go back and actually say this is not only approved, but it's really actually done, right? So, I deleted the page, deleted page 09, uh, transferred all motor controls and there we go motor controls and it's good right now of course finally this this is done now for the redlining so let's see on the eview if we can see this uh, on the eview also let's reopen this let's take a look so of course the redlining tells me oh the transfer motor is already done now, of course, it's not finished yet because what I want to do is two things. I want to take this here, uh, where's the revision? You can always go here, complete page. This is a cool feature, of course, right? You want to complete the page. And that basically is uh, added a motor from page 09. This is actually to enhance and to fill out my revision table inside ePlan. So I have a complete PDM system included into ePlan. So combined with the redlining, it's just an awesome feature. What it also recognizes is that since I changed the pattern of pages, I have to update different things like my table of content, my revision table, uh, eventually the location of different devices on my bill of material because I have cross references there. Um, any other cross references on any other reports will be updated too. And then finally, just to share that project again, I will take that project and upload it again on eView because what you want to have at the end of the day is you want to make sure that your project itself, right? When you go back to the project here, we also update this to the next version 3.0. So when we update this to, we upload it again, it automatically then picks up the 3.0 value and it I can put the comments in there that are related to that project um, and it's all nice and dandy. Nice to see is actually this nice light gray color that is not displayed very often nowadays for the ePlan 2022 because uh, the new colors, the dark side of things, is often the thing that we show. But really, to 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 remember the eView itself, it's a cool feature within uh, ePlan. You can share your projects with anyone you want, and you keep control over who gets it. Because remember, in the old days, when we sent out either a DXF or a DWG file, or when we sent out a PDF file, we never controlled who actually can see it. Now we do control who sees it. Only the people that are actually permitted here in the share with, and only those people, same thing as I showed you before, are the ones that can actually see it. Anyone else is not allowed to see it, right? So of course, now in this case here, I will upload my project again, and that will be my new uh, comment here for my version number three. I uh, transferred motor uh, page 09208 and there we go and it will just upload thank you for being with me this was again showing you ePlan and really ePlan is is well it's the best secret you can find out there and honestly if you can Look up the different industries we are in, check it out. We are in plenty, plenty, plenty of different industries where ePlan can be beneficial for you, really. You can find out about it. Uh, if you actually just go to the home page right here, uh, you will see the most interesting page I love is this one here. 
you go to our website and then you can look up this nice environment here where you can pick the industry you work in. If you're actually a panel shop, you can just go here in the panel shop panel link and you can see everything that happens on your panel shop. The only thing that might be different are the cars, maybe the building itself, the architecture, but the Everything you see here is what you do in a panel shop. So you can actually then dig in and see, okay, what 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 does ePlan and Retail offer, let's say, to help the panel modification? Well, we help you with the 3D digital twin. We help you with the Perforex to actually be able to automatically uh, cut uh, and drill holes in your system. You can actually dig in to this particular portion and we actually show you more details. This part of the website, I love it. Anyways, this was introducing ePlan, ready for ePlan for the year 2022. Thank you. This was Roland from ePlan.